Here we go. So first things first, I kind of want to talk about <clears throat> the three autograph cards, right? If you get a regular hobby box, you're going to get one auto. If you get a jumbo, you're guaranteed three autograph cards. Um, so those are kind of where the money is, especially for these prospects. And remember, that's what we're doing here. We're prospect hunting. So even though Dylan Cruz is on the cover, right, he's a monster, but there are a ton of good prospects out there that you simply don't know if they're really going to be good or not. So these are really kind of hunting. You, now you can make money instantly on a lot of these cards, right? You pull a good rookie um, or a really super short print, there's a big market for them. But nine times out of 10, you're really going to be prospecting, right? You're going to want that Bowman first um, of that up and coming star, right? Because that's their first card and their first autograph. So let's kind of get started with the very common inserts that you're going to get. And lucky, I actually have variations of them as well. Um, ones that are actually numbered and signed to give you guys and girls a, a kind of idea of what you would, would expect out of these. Now, this is the first one. <clears throat> this is a uh, top 100 prospect and these are very very common right you're going to probably get one of these whoopsie you're going to get one of these or one of these rated rookies or more than likely a power up or an ai card right these are your very very common inserts now, as I mentioned before, there are numbered and there are signed varieties of these, okay? So how you can tell is obviously, well, they're going to have a number on them and then the super short print ones will actually be signed. So I do have an example here. See, here's a mini diamond one that's numbered to 150 and you can see straight away it's got that mini diamond reflector on it. And then here's an even rarer one where this one's actually signed and this one yeah, is to 99 and this is a sticker auto there are variations of this that are lower in print and i believe they are actually on card autos um so those are those are very very rare uh, and then speaking of that here's a ai card that i showed you this one's another mini diamond this one's numbered to 150. And then we did actually get a signed rated rookie. This is Evan Carter, who was very happy about. This is to 50, and this is an on-card auto. So these variations um, are super short print, right? These ones are going to be hard to get. And trust me, I've ripped a lot of these boxes. You don't see these very often, okay? So those are the fairly common ones. Again, when we start ripping these packs, you guys and girls are going to see the number of power-ups, the number of top 100s you get, they're very, very common, very, very common cards. Here are some more rarer ones. Now, I was very surprised to pull this. This is a Spotlight series, and if you ever collected uh, maybe like um, Tops Black, you're going to see these in here. Um, whether it was an error on Tops Half or not, I'm not sure, but we did get an Ellie Dela Cruz out of 150 on the Mini Diamond Spotlight. Again, that's the first one of these I've pulled, so I'm not sure if that was an error or they are legitimately in the set, but that was pretty cool. All right, let's go to Rising Infernos. So these look pretty cool in my opinion. Um, you are kind of gonna get one or two of these per hobby box. So they are short print, but I, they're definitely not super short print. Now I do believe there are numbered and auto varieties of these, which would, would be super short print. Um, but I, I hesitate to even call these short print because you are guaranteed one or two of them per hobby box. Um, I'm not sure on the number on jumbo hobbies, but you're typically going to pull about one to three of them. Um, so again, these will be your definitely your hot prospects, right? So obviously Jackson Holiday there is a huge one, the number one prospect uh, currently. Okay. So the next thing we want to look out for are going to be the numbered cards right and now these will be non-autoed and there's actually two different flavors of these and when we rip these packs you're going to see a lot of paper cards and you're going to see a lot of chrome cards right now the chrome cards are more sought after and they're more high in value um, just because of the card stock right so here's a variation of you know my pc gunner over here this is to 150 this is paper and if you take this out um, you get, it's very flimsy cardstock, right? Kind of back of a cereal box type type stuff. This is a numbered uh, purple wave. Uh, this is to 250, uh, John Wimmer. 
and this is Chrome. So straight away you can see that, right? So these ones are gonna hold a little bit more value. Um, you know, you pull a one of one paper, I'm sure there's some value there, right? But um, normally the Chrome ones are, they're the sexier card, right? And uh, yeah, the Chrome is where you're gonna get your autos too. So let's go into those. Now you're gonna have a whole different flavor of autographs. You know, you're gonna have your reflectors, uh, sorry, refractors that are gonna be numbered, um, non-numbered. Then you're gonna have other ones that are numbered to 499 all the way down to one of ones, right? So here's an example, this is to five, right? So this is very rare. This is a Carson Weizen Hunt um, to five on card order, right? And all of these will be on card, which is super cool. This, so this is a Bowman first, and again, that's what you want, right? You wanna see that first, because this is the first, first release of this particular player. So I'm really hoping that Carson Weizen Hunt pans out because I have you know, two five of one of his autos, right? And when we rip these, you're gonna see a whole bunch of base autos. You're gonna see some golds, uh, you're gonna see some reds, you're gonna see some oranges, you're gonna see some yellows to 75, right? So it's all about getting that player and then getting that low number as well, especially when you're prospecting. Okay, so let's go into two really quick things. Here's the video in case anybody wants to see it, but we did pull a super fractor. These are extremely rare. Now this is a one of one Colton Kalza on card rookie card, right? So I'm really hoping that Kalza pans out. Um, so far, his batting average is pretty good. He's been struggling recently, but it's about 250 right now. But, you know, this is a very in demand, I would say, rookie card. And wait till you see the number of rookie cards we pull of this guy. So to have the one of one of him is pretty cool, right? It's pretty intense. The chances of getting this are you know, next to nothing. And again, I say this on every video, this is not the way to invest in sports cards, right? Is to buy sealed cases and expect a good rate of return. It's probably not gonna happen unless you lock out and pull a super fractor or something, right? But I will put a little asterisk next, next to that and say, you know, the, again, these are prospects, right? So they do hold a lot of weight day one, but the majority of times, at least in my opinion, is a lot of these cards I'm going to hold on to to see if these pan out. Because, you know, 75% of these players won't pan out. But 25% of them, who knows, right? Like imagine having a Mike Trout, um, Bowman, right? You're paid. So who knows? Who knows? Who knows who those players are? I don't think anybody knows except time, right? And then we'll talk about the last super short print. These are very, very high in demand and there are numbered varieties and signed varieties of these as well. These are my favorite. These are the anime cards and these are very, very super short print. I mean, I've ripped cases of this product and not got a single anime. So these are rare. So imagine a numbered one, that's very rare as well. So we have a Davis here. We've got an Ali De La Cruz, two rookies, and then uh, Acuna Jr was stoked on getting if you're watching this video he just tore his acl yesterday so that sucks but anyway hopefully that was a good little review of kind of what you're going to get right don't expect a super fractor um but what you should be doing any autos you get obviously and then the last card in the box the last two two to three cards depending if you're doing hobby or jumbo hobby are going to be those chrome bowman firsts right and save all of those because those are the ones you want and just right and then just keep them somewhere unless um you know you're in, in it for a quick buck which a lot of collectors are then you can go ahead and sell them you know but the markets you're going to get some money if it's a low order like i said but the market's not going to be the same as if that rookie or that prospect pans out makes the big leads and makes a splash you then got his bowman first so very, very high money. All right, hopefully that was a good overview. Let's rip into a packet and kind of see what we get. So remember what I talked about, paper versus the chromes, right? So these first kind of 10 to 15 cards are all gonna be your papers, right? Not a lot of value to these except for the rookies, um, but even like a rookie Ella De La Cruz on the paper Bowman variety don't sell for a whole lot, even if they grade 10 at least for right now, but they are worthy of holds, right? So here we go. We've gone into our first inserts. Remember I told you these are super common. There we go. So we've got a Lombard Jr., a Prospect Power Up, and uh, uh, Tink Hintz, uh, he's number 28. So there you go. So these, again, we've pulled three of these inserts in one packet. Get used to that, because you're gonna have a whole stack of these inserts, right? Now we get into our Bowman Firsts. Um, the first 10 of these, roughly, are gonna be paper. Right, so straight away we'll yank out the Bowman firsts. 
right? Because those are the those are the ones we want. And then we get into our chromes. Again, we're looking for those firsts, right? These will still have weight. These are prospects, but they've had cards before, so they're more more established. So again, we got two chrome Bowman firsts, and we have about four or five in the paper. So those are the ones that I'd sleeve up and I'd keep. Uh, and just hope that they pan out, okay? So let's rip a look, we'll start ripping much faster now. And now we can kind of, you know, go over all the front cards. We can completely skip them because I want to get some autos to show you guys. Here we go. This is an order. And this is a non-numbered, I can tell straight away. So this is going to be, um, this is what you call a base order. Now again, these are all on card and it is a Bowman first. You know, so that's nice, but this is non-numbered, okay? So out of the three autographs, one of them is a non-numbered one. So that's not great. And I don't know a lot about that, about that prospect. Um, again, common inserts. And then on the back here, Luke Adams, he's a good prospect. Bowman first, right? So there we go. So with these ones... We'll just kind of sleeve them up as we go. Because these will all be stash cards. All be stash cards. Okay, let's readjust this camera. And then we will really start ripping. Okay. So we got a lot of a lot of boxes. And I'll kind of guide you guys and girls through these as we go into them um, who the prospects are who we should we should be looking for right I think tops do a really good job uh, with the with releasing the uh, the actual numbered insert <laughs> because if you rip a ton of these you're gonna have a whole stack of these of these and those will kind of give you a really good number on perceived value right how good the these actual players are um you know holiday paul schemes things like that they're all top 10 so you're going to know straight away but some of the rookies or some of the prospects unless you're super into the minor leagues you're not really going to know a ton about so honestly those cards kind of helped me drew jones all these inserts are going to be again if you pull a player that's on the inserts that's a dead giveaway that they're hot prospects right so there's one that's 85, right? So again, these car, these packs are going to have a lot of players. And all I'm going to do for this video is I'm just going to pull out the Bowman, the Chrome Bowman firsts. And we'll go through all of everything and we'll see if we hit some animes. That would be nice. Okay, so this... I forget the name of this, but you are guaranteed one or two of these per hobby box. And that's a special, it's not short print, but it's just a, a, a variety, I guess, of, they're non-numbered. Um, so it's just a flavor kind of that you get. And typically they're going to be Bowman firsts as well. So there's Dylan Cruz. There's the, it's the guy on the cover, the man, the myth, the legend, pulling an order of him would be good. And Walker Jenkins is a very hot prospect as well. Unfortunately, like most cards, a lot of these cards are going to be worthless. You know, straight away, the paper ones, they're, it's pretty much fluff in the case, right? <laughs> There's a rated rookie that we talked about. There's number 17. And then a Bryce Matthews, who's a very in demand, John Mummer. Okay, so we pulled two good Bowman firsts there. Now remember, you are in the hobby boxes, you're guaranteed one order. Now the jumbo hobbies are obviously more expensive, but they are better value because you do pull three orders. Now the base orders are not what we're after. We are definitely after the numbered orders, right? The low ones. There's another Bowman first. I was actually doing a tutorial video, tutorial video when I pulled that Kalzer one of one. 
I actually had to stop the video. I posted it. All right, so we've pulled our second auto here. Now this is, you can see how it's somewhat refracted or shiny. Oh, okay, that's not an auto, that's a numbered card. Remember we were talking about those earlier? So that's to 399. Again, there are a huge number of numbered cards here. Here's a Rising Inferno, the Ali de la Cruz. Remember you're guaranteed kind of one to three of these per. And Bowman firsts, got a, a number of them there. So we'll pull out the numbered card to 399, very high in print. Very high in print there. Okay. Here we go. We've pulled another auto and it's another base. Okay, so we've pulled two base autos, meaning they're non-numbered. But the cool thing about Bowman is every auto, unless it's an insert that I showed you guys and girls before, is going to be on card, which is cool. Which means you're not going to get any stickered autos, again, unless they're on inserts. We are definitely going to run out of room to put all the base autos that we get up on stands. So we're not going to do that. Once we start pulling some heat and we've got this whole sealed case to go through, so you know we're going to pull some fire, um, we'll start putting them on the stands here. Again, the more that you rip out of these, it's going to become automatic. You're just going to, basically, you're going to go to the middle. You're going to check who your inserts are. And then you're going to go straight to the back and just hedge out all the Bowman firsts. But if you're new to this product, you're going to go through every card, right? It's fun. It's a new product. You could be super stoked to get some of these paper, paper cards. And that's awesome. Okay. Here we go. There we go. There's a Brock Porter to 150. Beautiful signature there. So there's our first numbered order. 150, not super rare. Four out of 150. I don't know his number to see if it's a jersey match or not. But again, that's going to hold a lot more value than base. A lot more value. So there we go. There's our first numbered order. And Brock Porter is actually quite a hot prospect as well. Bowman first to 50, 150, I'm sorry, and an on-card order. So for me, that is a stash. There we go. The um, hobby colorway that I talked about before. And then again, I'm not gonna, actually to speed the video up, I'm actually not gonna, I'll pluck out all the Bowman firsts later. I know a lot of people just probably want to see the really big hits. Trust me, I do too. <laughs> okay, so. And there are some value on these inserts. I think like Ali de la Cruz, if it grades back a 10, even on the base AI, it's probably like 10, 20 bucks. Right, another Rising Infernos, Aiden Muller there. Brock Porter just pulled his order. So this is going to be our first box in and we didn't pull any limited inserts um, we got two base orders and one numbered order we didn't get any paper any paper numbered paper and we got one numbered chrome and that was to 4.99 so wow we didn't start off very hot to say the least that probably to be honest, that might be my worst uh, Jumbo Hobby box I've actually ever opened. <laughs> we didn't start off great, so the bar was not set high at all. The bar was not set high at all. So if I went into a store and I just bought one Hobby box and that was it, oh. That would not be fun. I would not be happy with that at all. Okay, here we go. Look at that. First, first pack. First pack of the second hobby box. And we've pulled an anime card. And I'm not lying to you guys and girls. These are rare. 
you don't want to know how many of these cases I've opened. This is very rare. A numbered variety of this would be even rarer. There we go. I just spoke of him, didn't I? The Acuna Jr. Literally just tore his ACL yesterday. Ronald Acuna Jr. There we go. So it's not a rookie. It's not the L.A. De La Cruz. Um, Otani would be really cool as well. But there you go. Okay, so the first one had more weight to it. We've pulled an anime card. That's my second Acuna. I'll take him. I love Acuna Jr. Complete monster. There we go. I want to say the Ali De La Cruz that I have, if it grades back, right now on eBay, anywhere from 250 to 300 bucks. And again, that's for a non-signed, non-numbered anime card. Because the market's crazy for anime cards. I love them personally. They remind me a lot of like the NBA hoops, the presentations. They sell really well as well. So some people are into them, some people aren't. But me, I love the anime cards. I really do. Okay, so we've pulled a paper numbered. A Ralphie, uh, Ralphie uh, Vis Valske Valkeos. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Some of these names I don't get right that's to 199 rising infernos there's our inserts Bowman Chromes can you think of the number of cards that are in these packs right not only are you competing against the number of cards but then you have to 499 you've got to 399 you've got to 299 you've got to 250 you've got to 199 just the amount of these cards out here that's why it's so important to get those low numbered because there's so many cards okay so we pulled another paper yep there's a Corey Seager okay so you will get them non-rookie as well which held zero value and we've pulled a mini diamond auto so our first auto is going to be numbered so that's good okay there's a jacob burke to 299 there so straight away you can see the difference and nothing but luck right the difference between that first hobby box and this one we've already pulled an anime and a 299 order in the first one the best card we got was to 150 it was the brock porter you know, again, it's lower, it's lower numbered than the 299, right? But there was no anime in there either. You know, you pull an anime and it's not a character or, or kind of a design that you're into, just sell it. Because I'm telling you, the market's there. Get it graded and sell it. And anything 9 or 10, you're going to make money. You are going to make money. Okay, so we've pulled, here we go. Look at the second hobby box come through. That looks, it looks almost gold. Um, but that's probably going to be numbered to 50 if I had to guess. There we go. Cooper Pratt to 50. That's beautiful. That's exactly what you want. That is exactly what you want. Bowman first to 50. The second hobby box is destroying the first one. Completely destroying it. That's really cool. Cooper Pratt is a very hot prospect. And to 50, I'll take that all day. I will take that all day. You know what? Let's just do like, I don't know, top three or four at the end here. That's a beautiful card. Look at that beautiful it's actually almost as nice as the one of one actually i actually like the refract ref, uh, the reflection a little bit better okay curtis mead and it just shows you like the luck of the draw too you got two people and they buy two hobby boxes for the same money and look at the second versus the first and we've still got seven more packs to rip crazy again I, I that first one might be the worst there's a rising inferno jordan lawler rookie card and those rising infernos even the non-numbered ones which almost all of them are they will have a little bit of a little bit of value in there 
just because they're fairly uncommon. But again, they're not there. They are guaranteed. So I wouldn't call them like a short print. Luciano, he's a monster. It's a rookie card. So again, you're going to have the prospects that are in the minors and you will have um, rookies as well that are in the major leagues. And then you'll have, you know, your really well-known players like Yelich, for example. Um, they'll be in the product as well. But like a Yelich paper, non-numbered, non-rookie card, uh, you know, it's it's going to be worthless and it always will be worthless on the market at least but you could be a huge Yelich fan right or a Brewers fan and you pulled his card and be stoked about it there's an Ellie Dela Cruz and once you're used to ripping these open you know it's really it's really you go straight to the middle there we go there's a numbered Brandon Maia, Brando Maia, um, excuse me, that's to 250, so we've already pulled, and there's our third order, so that's that's a base order of, of David Guzman, so that's numbered to 250, the relatively short print colorway, actually it's not short print, but it's to the hobby boxes, exclusive to the hobby boxes, okay. I guess I should talk about the giveaway really quick. I'm going to give away three um, of the sealed um, hobby boxes of this product. And all you have to do is just like and subscribe. Give me a little bit of feedback. You know, it costs money to pump out this content. Hopefully, everybody finds it useful. I like. To, I love to give viewers kind of what they're before they spend their money, right? What their um, what their hard-earned money is going to get them, right? And sometimes you can't do that by just doing one. Plus, I find it really fun to, um, you know, do a full sealed case. That way, you girls and you guys can get a good understanding of what you would expect out of this. I kind of do it with all the products. And again, this is not the way to invest in sports cards, right? Because even with the anime and the 50, and again, unless you pull like a super fractor or the prospects really pan out, you're prospecting and you're never going to get your rate of return if you buy sealed cases. It's just not good. It's not going to happen. And if it did, everybody would do it. And everybody would just buy sealed cases and everybody would make money. And that's not how the hobby works, unfortunately. I mean, you saw it. You saw it just now box uh, hobby box two versus hobby box one think of all the money think of the difference in money in hobby box two versus hobby box one exact same price point the first one was trash the second one was really good we pulled a 250 on card order and we pulled an anime card and we've pulled you know two chrome numbered as well even though they're they're high numbers again that first one was just hmm really bad hopefully hopefully that's a good setup for this case you know give them give them a crap one first and then uh, yeah show us the show us the flame second hopefully that's a trend that continues <laughs> So baseball season is officially underway actually this weekend went to Chicago and saw the Orioles play um, for the first time which was really cool actually PC a lot of Orioles I'm a big Gunnar Henderson guy obviously I've got a got a big investment with Calza now too but I was a fan before I pulled um, that card there's a Dylan Cruz again I'm, you know every pack you get you're gonna get those inserts very common very common it's weird like the first case of these i did um i pulled a lot of low numbers and in the second case i did it was weird most of my stuff was inserts okay so we've pulled another although this yep so this isn't a bowman first this is a rookie and this is going to be to 50 as well there's a junior camara Caminero, I'm sorry, he's a very, very good player for your Rays. Um, he's actually a rookie, so he's in the big leagues now. And that's just 7 of 30. Um, so there's two 50s. That's pretty cool. 
these are low numbered I, again like with the amount of cards that are in here honestly 50 or below you're you you'll you'll be happy about now notice one thing right which card of these do you think is going to hold the better value of both players turn out to be great it's going to be this one because it's the bowman first remember that it's the first card of this guy this guy's already established he's already in the majors he's a rookie see rookie there's no rookie cards on these because they're minor league players bowman first but again uh junior uh Caminero to 50 on card that's that's money we'll take that we'll take that Okay, here's another paper month paper number I should say we all know who that is Bobby Witt Jr. Mad so all you got to do Google what his Bowman firsts are going for specifically the low numbered ones right if you prospected correctly and you got a Bobby Witt Jr. Bowman first paid even the base non-numbered non-signature cards right that's why it's so important to hang on to these these bowman firsts the chrome ones because if that player pans out those cards will be worth money again they'll never be worth as much as the signature variety or the numbered varieties right but they will be worth money that's why a lot of people love these bowman firsts i do too there's a uh, german ramirez there uh, to 100 so that's kind of confusing some of these the mini diamond patterns they'll be to 299 or 100 so pay pay attention to these numbers here that's great there's a very relatively low numbered and that was our first auto i believe of this third pack that's to 100 we're doing pretty good so far i would like to pull a numbered or a signed anime though that's on my hit list for sure <laughs> that's on my hit list for sure again because i'm like a i like i like the anime fly. it's my kind of style i dig it tyler uh Saunderson, he's really good there's a jackson cheerio for your brewers jd gonzalez jared dickey and a carlos sanchez good number of bowman firsts in there okay get through the paper here here we go there's a homer bush jr to 150 for your padres it's a very pretty card that's a numbered to 150 on the chrome so that will hold a little bit of value if that player pans out for sure that's the cool thing about i keep saying it but that's the cool thing about bowman is you never know how they're going to perform once they get to the major leagues if they even get it there right so again you see all these cards here all of these unfortunately most of them are going to be completely worthless completely worthless <laughs> but there will be those few diamonds there's a cole young to 199 he's a very very good prospect for the mariners these this won't be his bowman firsts i actually have a few of his bowman firsts um because he has been in the minors for a while he's a very uh cooper pratt we just pulled his to 50 which i was happy about lewis baez uh cole young is a very very good very good prospect for the mariners but again there's no bowman first there right so if you're an investor that's not the numbered card you want. Evan Carter, monster. There's a Felix um, Morrible, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, on the uh, ex hobby exclusive, let's just call that that. The same guy, Felix, uh, Capriotis, and a Ryan Lasco, and an Aiden Miller there on the Bowman Firsts i'm not gonna spare everybody the pain of sleeping all those bowman firsts up all i know is that they will be big stashes for me 
And like I said, the market's even there to, to sell those cards, right? Ryan Burrows, um, Eden Smith, and an Anthony Huzo. And there's Ethan Silas too. Again, all you gotta do is Google what Ethan Silas is worth. Even, even him still being in the minors. Him and Jackson Holiday, you have their Bowman first. They haven't even made it to the majors left. Well, Hol Jackson Holiday had a very st brief stint in the majors and was sent back down, rightfully so, but he's still going to be a monster. He's still the number one prospect. There's a um, Tejita, George Wilkoff, and a uh, Robert Kalas. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his last name right. Some of the, some of the names, just the players, I'm a little bit unfamiliar with. So I will butcher their last names. I just have to apologize for that. So again, we're one pack left of the third box. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, so the Spotlight series is in there. So we've pulled a 130 on the Spotlight series. That's cool. Drew Jones. Rodriguez. And a Carson Rucker. Okay, so this one, the Spotlight series, this is what I was where we pulled the LA, the Ella before, which I was telling you guys about, the mini diamond. So they are in this product as well. Okay, now whether it's just Tops has have reprinted this line and put them in the Bowman first and slap numbers on them, who knows? But these are cool cards. I like these. There we go. Who is that? Oh, Sebastian Walcott. Okay, to 125. That's cool on the aqua, we'll call it the aqua spotlight. That is cool. I like it how they don't have like any names or anything on there. Obviously, you know, he's already in the majors. He's not a rookie. Um, so yeah, there's no rookie card on that. So the value of this probably isn't huge. Um, so it's probably not the sh short print we wanted, but we got it nonetheless. But yeah, that's cool to see that. These cards are in fact, it wasn't an error, and they are in there as well. So there we go. All right, last pack. So the third hobby box, well, we did actually pull two low numbered six, one to 100 on the Bowman first of the German Ramirez, and then a junior uh, Caminera on the raised rookie card to 50. And then our last one is a color silver, and that's that's base, which is probably expected, honestly. Um, Del Turi, Nimala, he's, uh, he's very in demand as well. Paul Skeens, we all know him. Elkins, some good Bowman firsts there. Honestly, the base signature for the last signature was kind of expected because we pulled 100 and do a 50. Um, I have seen, that's fairly common. You know, other than that first first hobby box we did, where it was pretty bad, you know, you are going to expect probably a base after you've pulled two numbered six. So we'll just put that in our base signatures. All right, so hobby box three. So we did get some, at least we did get some super short print of the Sebastian Wolcott Aqua Spotlight to 125. But again, it's not his rookie card, right? So it's probably not a lot of value in that. We'll just put our other orders there. And then at the end of this, we'll do like a good review on what we kind of got. I'm hoping we get another anime, but again, I've the second case of this product I ripped, where I actually forgot to record it. That's a long story. Um, I didn't get any anime cards. So they are very, very short print. Again, if you have a numbered or a signed anime card, you're paid. Hold on to it. Jordan Lawler, uh, Murciano, and a, uh, a Kuna there. That's your number 24 prospect for your Mets. Nunez. Okay. We're going to get the dreaded wall of cards soon. <laughs> we'll have to start. We'll have to start another pack. But again, anybody new to this, what I would recommend, because Yolan uh, Sapitas, hopefully I'm pronouncing his name, he's he's a very in-demand prospect as well. Brock Wilkins, same story, and a JD Gonzalez there. So we got 
are three really good bowman firsts on him. What I'd recommend is you just do the research on the players if you pulled a low number autograph. But that's really fun, right? Is now you kind of have a vested interest in that player. Um, you kind of track them in the minors. And then when they make it to the majors, if they do, you get to see how they perform and see if that card skyrockets in value. Or, right, if it plummets, unfortunately, that's the name of the game, Ali De La Cruz there on the base. So even that will sell for a couple of bucks, right? So not all is lost on the papers. I'm just saying they're not going to... This is... Okay, this is weird. We got like Bowman Chromes here at the start. Sorry, it throws me off when... <laughs> when the... Uh, when the order is wrong there after you rip so many you like pretty much know the order that the cards are going to come out of so when it screws with you you're like huh okay that was a weird pack okay pull schemes jackson holiday i already showed you his rising inferno landida ramirez orion Maui, I actually have a very low number of him as well. And you can buy the hobby boxes, again, that have one guaranteed order. I prefer the jumbos because, there we go, there's another to 50. Like that. Bowman first to bang, bang, Aiden Miller. There we go. Now that is a monster. We just hit a monster card there. We just hit a monster. Luke Adams, Brock Porter. That is a very in-demand prospect. And to 50, that is very nice. There we go. Okay. Aiden Miller for your Philadelphia Phillies. Beautiful. To 50 too. That's two gold shimmers that we've actually got from Bowman first. So I'm very happy about that. That's two. And two very highly in-demand prospects as well. Aiden Miller to 50 and a Cooper Pratt to 50 to 50 so i'm very happy about that again because you'll rip boxes where you won't get any any low number so the fact we've already pulled two so we've pulled three to 50s one was a rookie card we've pulled an anime and we've pulled some relatively low numbered sigs too in this case okay it looks like we have a papered numbered here that's a um Familiar to 175. Luciano. Tony Ruiz. Douglas Gold. All right. But again, when you pull the paper, you can see very flimsy card stock. Um, again, probably not a lot of value in those, unfortunately. Let's get another anime card. You guys and girls can tell that I'm a. I like those anime cards. I just think they're so cool. They're like kind of a good breakup. Wyatt Langford, he's a monster to nine. Uh, number nine prospect, I'm sorry, not to nine. That was just a base. A base insert, very common insert. We'll move these ones over here. You just never know. There's a Colton Kalzer. There's my boy. There's a base rookie card there. That's pretty dope though, huh? You have the only card in the world. A one of one of him. Then you just gotta hope he pans out. Because I could probably sell that card for quite a lot of money right now. But imagine if he turns out to be really, really good. And you have his rookie card one of one. Um, you know, it's kind of investing one of one there. Is a Pete Crow Armstrong for your cubbies. Rookie card on the Rising Infernos. Teal. Okay, looks like we've got a Aqua Shimmer here. And a purple. Okay, we're stacked up here. Okay, Mayor to 125. He's a very good prospect for your Boston Red Sox. And now auto is going to be a purple. So this should be to 250, I believe. Yep, there's a Rolfi Cruz for your Baltimore Orioles to 250. Curtis Mead on the rated rookie. 
was in hunt and a castra. Wow, that one, that particular pack was was pretty uh, had a lot going on there. A one twenty five mayor. Beautiful card, these aqua shimmers, the teal shimmers, I should I should say. And then a Rolfi Cruz to 250. That's actually my first signature of him for your Baltimore Oreos. Baltimore has a huge amount of prospects because they had a lot of number one picks, right? So that's cool. Ooh. Yes, 250 is pretty high numbered, so it won't take a podium spot. So if I were yet to pull a numbered insert though, huh? Like I said, that second case, I think I pulled like three. It was a weird, very weird case. None of the very, there was hardly any low numbered Bowman first autos in there. Um, and yeah, just some random kind of numbered inserts. Brian Churio, Dylan Cruz, Bryce Matthews, John Wimmer. That was loaded in good uh, prospects, Bowman firsts. And here we go, last pack of case number four. Four down, four to go. Here we got a Ali Dela Cruz there to three ninety nine on the paper numbered. Ethan Silas, Mason Wynn, Tommy Troy, Hernandez, and Naylor. For you, Bowman firsts. Ellie Dela Cruz on the paper to three ninety nine. There we go. Just goes to show you how many of these cards they print, man. All right, we got four left. We are halfway in, halfway in, and so far our highlights. Let's go over our six. Cruz to two fifty. Porter to one fifty. Kent, Batista, and Silver on the base. Ramirez to a hundred. Junior Caminero to 50 on card order, Cooper Pratt to 50 on card order, and Aiden Miller on card order to 50, and a Ronald uh, Cunha Jr. there on the anime. Yellow is good. We like yellows. But we have not pulled anything lower than 50. Not pulled anything lower than 50. Will this be the box? Let's see it. So, case number five. Let's see if we can pull lower than 50. That would be awesome. Curtis Mead. Garcia Benitez. I do a whatnot show now, by the way, if nobody knows Henry Davis. It's a lot of fun. Um, check me out on whatnot, Rex Collects. I throw in a bunch of steals. Normally everybody gets paid. I like to hook up people in the mail as well. It's a super fun time. Friday, I do it like Fridays and one night a week. I should have some shows posted. It's a ton of fun. Just come in there and hang out. You don't need to buy anything at all. Um, and I mix it up every now and again. One time I did like a wheel of death. That was like 50 bucks a spin that there were some monster chases, a lot of downtowns and things. It's just really fun. You get to connect with the, the card community. Here we go. So we've pulled, uh, here's our first auto. It's going to be to 250. Oh, they faked me out. That's just numbered to 250. Okay. Faked me out on that one. It looked like an auto. Burke on the Bowman first, but it was not. Hopefully you're getting a feeling with how, one, how rare the animes are, and two, how rare the low numbers are, right? <laughs> because we're pulling a lot of hobby boxes here, and we've not pulled anything lower than a 50. Guzman, Teal. Okay, these autos are hiding from us here. We're going to have a ton of autos here in the back, which is always fun. 
the slow roll on box number five. There's a Calzit, a 199 paper. Ooh, the autos still elude us. Valencia Ruiz and a gold. Maybe, hopefully, this is a good sign. Autos for last. Let's try a, a low numbered. Here we go. Okay, this is my first one of these. There we go. There's a teal rising infernos of Picro Armstrong. He's a very good rookie for your cups. Okay, still no autos there. We go, Teal Rising Infernos. Again, that's a relatively, you know, you do get one to three of these per hobby box, as we've seen. But to pull a number of that, that's pretty cool. That's, that's low. So there will be some value in that, especially because it's his rookie card too. Cool. That's actually a spotlight we pulled. Two teals, huh? Um, where did it go? You're going to get really good at card management if you do a bunch of these. <laughs> Here we go. Two to 250 on the teals. Probably not a ton of value there, but uh, again, we're not with haven't pulled anything super low numbered either so let's try we've not pulled any autos here we go this is our first auto and it's base that's surprising skull okay so our base auto is going to be surreal hopefully i pronounced that right his auto is like way for your pirates base we have four packs left in this hobby box so hopefully they save the best to last here. One would expect it, but you never know. Could just be one of those boxes. I mean, look at the first hobby box, right? Terrible, terrible value. Brand Maya to 199. That's a cool, that's like a pink kind of lava colorway. Dylan Cruz. No Bowman firsts in this one. Okay. It's just so hit or miss, isn't it? There's Bowman first paper, but no chromes. It's so hit or miss. That's why, you know, one person can buy one hobby box, the other the next, and you're going to get completely different value out of them. It's just kind of just the name of the game, right? Another base. Serena to 499. Actually, that's not base, that's a refractor. So to 499, but still. Luke Adams, Porter. Five has been a bit of a skunker, to say the least. But you can make up for it to me, Chrome. Tops by giving me a. A nice numbered anime. How about that? My thing is, if I keep calling for it, it should come. <laughs> Let me know if that works. There you go, Brian Churio, and that is base. So again, it just kind of shows you. Walker Jenkins, Marble and Ortiz on the firsts. Just how hit or miss these autos can be. One to four ninety nine and two base autos in this box. If that was the only, again, if that was the only hobby box I ever bought of this product, you would have to be disappointed with that return, to say the least. We did get a numbered Inferno, but um, again, that's, you don't really get into Bowman to get those. We got three left. Can we pull something lower than a 50? Again, you don't get into Bowman to pull non signature numbered inserts there just won't be any value there Boom. 
those are all PSA 3s now. <laughs> There we go, Batista, straight away, base, Marble, Ortiz, Lasco, and Aiden Miller. That's actually the second base of him we've pulled, isn't it? Just a mound of trash on the floor now. Jack Hurley, paper to 250. Mason Wynn. Burroughs, Smith, and Herza. Garrett Cole, he's a monster. I can't wait till he comes back for the Yankees. Luciano. Garcia, Benitez. Show us red or orange. Luke Adams. Yelich, another base uh, to four ninety nine. Isaiah Drake, Porter, and Latita. Isaiah Drake for your Atlanta Braves to four ninety nine was our second order in hobby box number six. We need to pick it up here. We need some. We've had a break. We've had a break since we've pulled the last flames. Let's not flame out now. Matt Shorter, 250 on the purple wave. Ramirez. It's going to be a super long video if you've hung with me this way. And hopefully you like what you're seeing. There we go. There's our first gladiator of the diamond, Jackson Cheerio. That's very super short print. Almost not as short print as the anime, but short print nonetheless. Again, if you buy like a sealed case, you probably would expect one or two of these gladiator cards the anime no you can have full cases and not have an anime card that's why they're so high in demand so the fact that we pulled one you know i'm happy about acuna jr too he's a monster obviously Cole Young to 175, a base Lewis Baez. That's a very interesting signature, huh? Mason one. Nunez. Okay, so the we started off hot. We really did. With three to fifties. And we have definitely cooled off in a major way. <laughs> But again, it only takes one in these prospects. It really does. It only takes one. But this should give you a good idea of if you have pulled a low number order, just how rare it is. Just how rare it actually is. Burke, Guzman, and Teal. Okay, last pack. Last pack mojo here. There, sh there should be an auto in here, huh? And there's not. Is 
So unless I've counted wrong and we did pull two autos, maybe we uh, three autos, maybe we did. But again, I've got a whole stack of cards here that I need to go through. So who knows? Maybe there's a uh, maybe there's a nice <laughs> red or orange auto waiting for me in the stack. I doubt it. Okay. So six and uh, sorry. Five and six, very underwhelming. And one was very underwhelming as well. So we got two hobby boxes left of the jumbo hobbies. So if you're thinking about getting a hobby box at home or a sealed case, um, this video should, there we go. That's not what we want to see. That's a low numbered paper. Now, Yamamoto is a monster on there, on the uh, Dodgers. But again, paper order, I'm sorry, paper numbered, low numbered, that's not what we want. But still, we can't complain too much. I thought that would actually be to 50. It looks like gold, but it's not, it's yellow. It's to 75. He's a very, very good pitcher. Obviously, uh, Shohei took a huge, we'll call it a pay cut, it's not, but a deferred salary so the Dodgers could sign him. And so far, he is pitching lights out. Here we go, silver to 150. Well, I, I have a giant mound of cards next to me. It'll be fun to go through all of those and pluck out all the bowmen first. And then again, we just stash them away. There we go, there's, a, there's another teal. So that's three teals in the colorways to 125 of the 85th prospect. Pratt, Baez, and Jenkins. Just not a lot of value in these cards, unfortunately. Now, what would the correct way of investing in these cards be? If you follow the miners a lot, you probably know who the good players are. And then you go out and you buy singles. That looks, there we go. That's low number. It's got to be. To 10. Oh my gosh. To 10. That's very, very low, but it's just not the card we wanted. Um, oh, that's a huge miss on a 10. That's where I was really hoping we'd see that autograph. I'll have to do more research on him. But again, that's non-Bowman first, right? He's still a prospect. Um, and that's 2 out of 10. It's a very low numbered, but unfortunately, who knows? You know, he could pan out and be really good. Again, that's a heavy stash. But for a slash 10, that's where you wanted the order. That's where you wanted the order. Um, so the correct way to invest in this product, let's go back to that and try to keep our mind off that horrible pull, um, would be you know your players and you go and buy them singly, right? You buy them while they're, there's a base Ramirez, Ethan Silas. Um, you buy them while the market doesn't really know about them. And uh, yeah, you just kind of hedge your bet on one or two players and just really hope that they pan out. Kind of like the stock market, it's the same thing. Whereas buying sealed cases like this, this is really just for a review and to give you girls and guys a good kind of understanding of what you'll be getting. But, um, you know, investing in the stock market, you just don't go buy every single stock. And that's kind of what you're doing when you buy sealed cases. You know, the return on investment, nine times out of 10 won't be there, but, but it's so fun though, Austin Wells, rated rookie. It is really fun, Rip Silver, Ortiz, and Lombard Jr. on the firsts. You know, there's nothing like pulling a low-numbered card that you actually pull yourself versus going on eBay and just buying a, a low-numbered card if you can, you know, afford it or whatever. The thrill is just completely different. Ellie Dela Cruz on the rookie card, Walker Jenkins on the Rising Inferno. 
But if you look at this mound of cards next to me, you know, 80, 90% of them aren't going to be worth any money. So you're really just taking a risk. There we go. There's a relatively low numbered signature there uh, for George um, Mashiko. Mashio, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I probably know I'm not. JDOM, rated rookie. I actually have a Spencer Jones to 50 on card order. Um, you know, and that's, I think last sold on that was three and a half thousand dollars. So, you know, if any of these guys pan out, these, those three, well, these two specifically, it could hold a lot of value in the future. Here we go. We've got a gold. Curtis Mead. It's actually a yellow to 75. There we go. Cruz, Dylan Cruz. That's who we wanted to 75. We wanted a Bowman first. Not so much a rookie, but still, that's a nice card. That's to 75. I thought it was a gold, it was a yellow, but still that's very low numbered uh, to 75 there. Of Curtis Mead, right? Who's playing fairly well for your Tampa Bay Rays. And of course, I think I've run out of... Nope, still have some thin slips. 23. I always like seeing if I have a jersey match afterwards. Sometimes you do and you just don't know it. A number match, I should say. Okay, 75. It's been a while since we have a, had, a, had a card up there. Oh, this case has been top. Uh, a little bit top heavy, one would say. Jackson Holiday on your AI card. Bryce Matthews, Wimmer. And here we go, last one. And we've got one hobby box left. Hopefully you got a good understanding of Pico Armstrong, Hernandez, Naylor, and Cepedes, and Brock Wilkin. That, that one had a lot of... I'm sure in this tower of cards I'm going to find an order. Probably somewhere that I've missed, but... Last pack. Hopefully that gives you a good understanding of how rare these anime cards are too. One. Unless we luck out and get a second one here, but... That's why they're so pricey, because they are very hard to find. Oh man, that last box, that to 10 is still killing me. This one. That's where you wanted your signature. For sure. But, you know. It's all part of the game. Especially with Bowman, because you just... You simply... For the most part do not know there we go how about that the number 100 rookie <laughs> the bookend silver ortiz and lombard it's kind of like you know the mr irrelevant right sometimes they turn out to be amazing players luke adams to 125 Josenberger to 150. That's our first signature for your Baltimore Oreos. It's a pretty signature. Again, they're all on card, which is dope. Which is definitely a selling point. That's why I keep saying it. What you want are the signatures. That's where the big money comes down the line if the player turns out to be really good. The rest of these these are thicker sleeves so i'll just uh, put them to the side to 150 let's see if we can again the lowest we've pulled is a 50 in one anime Pico armstrong cruise cruise times two just spelt differently let's get a hail mary at the end here Hail Mary at the end. 
Matthew Swimmer. Jung Ho Lee to 250, rookie card, paper. Hernandez, Naylor, Cepeda, and Wilkin. George Lombard Jr., base signature. Gonzalez, Dickey, Sanchez, Jackson Holiday. We've got one signature left. One signature left. Remember, the signatures can be on inserts too. But some of those you will see a sticker signature because the inserts are typically more established players or they're going to be rookies. Evan Carter, Isaiah Drake. Alderman to 399 on like a silver wave. Drew Jones, Wyatt Langford, Matt Shaw. Williamson, Cheerio. Four packs left. If you've hung with me this far, thank you so much. Or if you're just fast forwarding to the end, there you go. Strand to 499. That's our last signature. He's a rookie as well, so that's not a Bowman first. Um, so yeah, that's a, it's a little bit of a mess there, I would say. Although actually Carlos Strand, I think is Baptiste, Riviera, Anderson, and Jimenez. If you've hung with me this long, thank you so much. We'll do a recap at the end too, for everybody that likes to skip to the end. Maybe we can luck out and get, get an anime. Second anime on the last, Montgomery, Callas, Wilkoff, Tejita, Strand, we just pulled his signature, Justin Crawford on the paper to 299, Kendall George. Rodriguez, Surio, and Rucker. Last pack mojo. One anime, you're all out of a sealed case. Again, that's just how rare they are. Brooks Lee, and there you go. Del Tori and Elkins to finish us off there. So there we go. There we go, the lowest card we pulled was a 10, and it wasn't a signature, which kind of sucks. And it wasn't a Bowman first either. Um, so let's quickly go over the inserts, or the uh, numbered cards at least of, of value. I'm sure with this tower of cards I have next to me, I'm sure I missed one or two of them. But um, here's what you can kind of expect. We did pull three Aquas on numbered inserts. Is what you can expect out of the product. We pulled one Gladiator of the Diamond, non-numbered. That's a signature. That should go with the signatures. Strand, 400 out of 499. This was to 10 of the Samuel Zawa. 2 out of 10. That's the lowest card we pulled there. Did pull an Aqua Spotlight of Sebastian Walcott and an Aqua Rising Infernos of Pete Crow Armstrong. It's the first um, numbered Rising Infernos I actually have. And then here were your paper and chrome numbers. Oh, there's an auto in there too. Another auto. Okay. Guess that's got to go somewhere. So just because it's so low numbered, 
And here are our autos. Strand, Guzman on the base, uh, Jacob Burke to 299. Again, be careful of these prints, these mini diamonds, because some of them are to 299 and some of them are to 100. So obviously one is extremely more limited than the other. Lombard Jr. Jossenberger to 150. Marchino to 250. Ramirez on base. Bay is on base. Drake to 499. Batista. Churio. Serena to 499. Surio. Ramirez to 100. See? Look exactly the same as the 299s. Ralphie Cruz to 250. Brock Porter to 150. Kent. Base. Batista. Second base. Silver. Second base. And then probably the top five, Curtis Mead on card order to 75. Ronald Acuna Jr. on the anime. Cooper Pratt, actually we'll do the Junior Caminero rookie card on card order to 50. And then probably the highlights here, Cooper Pratt on card to 50. And Aiden Miller on card to 50 on the beautiful gold kind of shimmer. And that's it. That was a full case, y'all. What did you think? Are you going to invest in it? It's a fun product. It really is. But as you guys and girls can see, compare like Hobby Box 2 to Hobby Box 1, right? 2, we got an anime, a super low numbered signature. First week, like completely flaked out. So there is going to be a complete variation of what you would expect and what you pull out of this product. If you stuck with me this long, I thank you so much. I am giving five of the Hobby Boxes sealed away. Um, all you got to do is like and subscribe. Show us some love on the channel. Thank you so much for checking it out. Hopefully you found this informative. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.